Do you struggle with typing on your Android phone? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are a few Android keyboards that'll help you type faster. One of the greatest aspects of Android is the ability to replace virtually any aspect of the operating system that you don't like with ease. Say you don't like the default browser, change it. Not a fan of the stock launcher, change it. And if you just can't stand the stock keyboard, change it. Over the course of a few years, third-party Android keyboards have grown in numbers, popularity, and functionality. Although there are dozens of replacement IMEs, there are a few that have rightfully earned a name for themselves by helping frustrated mobile users type faster, more accurately, and with fewer errors. SwiftKey, originally just an idea between Dr. Ben Medlock and John Reynolds, has since flourished into a thriving business, one of the most successful and, likewise, popular third-party keyboards available on Android. The standout feature of SwiftKey is its artificial intelligence, the way it incorporates natural language to learn the way you type and immediately begin predicting your next words. Simply sign into Facebook, Twitter, and Gmail, and SwiftKey will begin parsing your accounts to learn your typing habits. In a matter of minutes, it's able to accurately predict the way you type and guess your next word. The first time you use it, it's a bit creepy, but after you get used to SwiftKey finishing your sentences, you learn to expect it and become much faster at typing. Last year, SwiftKey introduced a couple new features, the first of which was a new algorithm which inserts missed spaces and separates words automatically. You can literally type an entire sentence without ever needing to press the spacebar. The second feature was swipe-like gesture typing. Bring all these features together into a single package and you have yourself one of the most advanced software keyboards ever. Swipe was a software keyboard that brought gesture typing into the limelight single-handed. The idea is that simply sliding your finger between letters instead of tapping them one by one is both quicker and more accurate. Of course, there is a small learning curve in the beginning. It takes a bit of practice to get out of the habit of pecking away at a tiny keyboard. But once you get the gist, you'll be sliding your finger around the keyboard faster than you ever thought possible. Just watch out for those short words as those continually prove to be the most tricky. In more recent versions, Swipe has added prediction software and the ability to learn from your social accounts, putting it and SwiftKey on a fairly level playing field. Swipe, unlike other keyboards mentioned in this video, is not found in the Play Store. Instead, you will find a public beta download on Swipe's site, linked in the description below. Keep in mind, both SwiftKey and Swipe are often used by manufacturers in their proprietary keyboards. The Samsung Galaxy S4, for example, incorporates SwiftKey technology in its stock keyboard. And countless devices have come preloaded with Swipe over the years. Getting away from gesture typing for a second, thumb keyboard is great for the more traditional typer, especially those with tablets or phablets. Gesture typing is not nearly as effective on a larger device. You have to drag your finger significantly further, and on some, laying the tablet down and typing in a more traditional QWERTY fashion is possible. But when you're holding a tablet, laying on the couch, or in a position where laying the tablet flat to type with 10 fingers isn't possible, typing with two thumbs or pecking with a single finger can be quite cumbersome. Thumb keyboard splits the keyboard in several different user-definable layouts that make typing with the thumbs more ergonomic and simple. It also works on phones for those who prefer typing in landscape, or the less traditional one-thumb, one-index finger style. In truth, the stock Android keyboard has come a long way since Gingerbread. In the Android 4.2 update, Google made some much-needed improvements to its keyboard. Not only does the new keyboard offer word predictions, it incorporates the ever-popular gesture typing capabilities. Unfortunately, many manufacturers remove the stock keyboard in favor of their own. So if you're not running stock Android and it's not readily available in the input method menu, you're out of luck. There are some third-party keyboards that try to mimic the stock Jellybean keyboard in the Play Store, but they aren't exact replicas. Android has also sparked some innovation in some keyboard developers. Two keyboards in particular think outside the box, outside the constraints of your typical QWERTY keyboard and implement totally different styles of input altogether. The first of which is 8-pin. Using a large circle in the middle, four quadrants, and a rather daunting letter layout, this keyboard was developed after some research on how people continuously draw on a small piece of paper with a pin. You might want to check out their video for a better explanation. It's difficult to get the hang of and not exactly practical, but it's quite fun and interesting to use. The second is Minuum. Currently being crowdfunded on Indiegogo, Minuum also breaks from the typewriter mold and shrinks the keyboard down to a single row of letters. The prototype version of Minuum is expected to be released in early 2014, and public betas will be available later this year. It's impossible to cover all the third-party keyboards in a single video, so be sure to share your favorites in the comments below. 
That's all we've got for you for now. So if you like the video and you would like to see more like it in the future, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Give us a follow on your favorite social networks, Google+, Twitter, and Facebook at PocketNow. You can also follow me at my personal account at CasperTech, that's C-A-S-P-E-R-T-E-K. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.